book person's 10 sword and sorcery suggestions. What is sword and sorcery? Sword and sorcery is a subgenre of fantasy characterized by sword-wielding heroes engaged in exciting and violent adventures. Elements of romance, magic, and the supernatural are also often present. Unlike works of high fantasy, the tales, though dramatic, focus on personal battles, rather than world-endangering matters. One sword and sorcery commonly overlaps with heroic fantasy. Two. Number one Elric of Melonbone by Michael Mocock. Originally a six-book series that started in 1972 by the influential fantasy author Michael Murcock, the story follows its title character, Elric of Melnibone, in his journey from a sickly sorcerer king of the decadent and corrupt empire to a top-class warrior involved with the affairs of the gods of law and chaos. Don't get me wrong these are great novels, but the sickly protagonist will linger far after the story is over. Elric is a Malnibonian, and as such, he is not exactly human. He was born with albinism, making his flesh pale, his hair white, and his eyes a deep crimson. He is very tall, slender to the point of gauntness, yet elegantly muscled. Elric is normally attired in traditional Malnibonian armor with a signature dragon helm. Number 2 Solomon Cain by Robert E. Howard Most of Robert E. Howard's Solomon Cain was published in the pulp magazine Weird Tales beginning in 1928. People will know Robert's most iconic character Conan, but I chose Solomon to showcase his other works. Howard describes Solomon Kane as a tall, somber and gloomy man of pale skin, gaunt face, and cold eyes, all but shadowed by a slouch hat. A late 16th to early 17th century Puritan, Solomon Kane is a somber looking man who wanders the world with no apparent goal, other than to vanquish evil in all its forms. Number 3 The Black Company by Glenn Cook Glenn Cook created The Black Company which spans nine novels first published in 1984 and can be grouped into three sections. The series follows an elite mercenary unit, The Black Company, last of the three companies of Kitova, through roughly 40 years of its approximately 400-year history. Cook mixes fantasy with military fiction in gritty down-to-earth portrayals of the company's chief personalities and its struggles. Number 4 Jiral of Juari by C. L. Moore Jiral of Juari is a collection of five fantasy stories by C. L. Moore. All the stories were published in Weird Tales during the 1930s. The volume compiles all but one of Moore's stories featuring the title character Jiral, a proud, tough, arrogant and beautiful ruler of her own domain in imagined version of medieval France. Her adventures continually involve her in dangerous brushes with the supernatural. Number 5 Cain by Carl Edward Wagner Cain created by author Carl Edward Wagner in a series of three novels and about 20 short stories published between 1970 and 1985. Most Cain tales are sword and sorcery with strong elements of gothic horror, set in a grim pre-medieval world that is nonetheless ancient and rich in history. In some of Wagner's later stories, Cain appears in the present day little is known about Cain's origins. Number 6 Imro by Charles Saunders Imro is a five-book series first published in 1981 by Charles Saunders, which is a tale of a young man's continuing struggle to gain acceptance amongst his people, to break the cycle of alienation and violence that plagues his life. Set in the fantasy world of Nyambani, that is based on Africa, its tradition, and its legends. Number 7 Faft and the Grey Mouser by Fritz Lieber a series of stories by author Fritz Lieber centered around two protagonists. Faft, a very tall and strong northern barbarian, skilled at both swordsmanship and singing and his partner. The Grey Mouser is a small mercurial thief, gifted and deadly at swordsmanship, often using a sword in one hand and a long dagger in the other, as well as a former wizard's apprentice who retains some skill at magic. He started in 1939 with the first appearance of Mouser in the Unholy Grail in 1962, and together in Ilmet in Lankma. After that, the Barbarian and Thief couldn't be separated. Number 8 The Witcher by Andrzej Sapkowski The Witcher is a series of seven books and a prequel by Andrzej Sapkowski. The first two books are short stories of The Witcher Gerald Sun, of which parody classic fantasy stories, then changes into a five-book saga of Gerald and Ciri who are linked by destiny. Gerald is a mutated human with beast-like ability and a mentality to match. The Witcher has been adapted into wildly popular video game and TV show. Number 9, Sword Dancer, 
by Jennifer Roberson. The Saw Dancer saga has seven books in the series, with an eighth expected end of 22. Jennifer Roberson published the first book in 1988. The Saw Dancer saga follows the adventures of Dell, born of ice and storm, trained by the greatest of northern sword masters. Now, her ritual training completed and steeped in the special magic of her own runesword, she had come south in search of a young brother stolen five years before. Tiger, born of the desert winds, raised as a slave and winning his freedom by weaving a special kind of magic with a warrior's skill. Number 10 Chronicles of Amber by Roger Zelazny The Chronicles of Amber is a ten-book series split into two story arcs that started in 1970 by Roger Zelazny, there are also short stories and four prequels. Amber is the one real world, casting infinite reflections of itself, shadow worlds, which those of royal amberite blood can manipulate. But the royal family is torn apart by jealousies and suspicion, the disappearance of the patriarch Oberon has intensified the internal conflict by leaving the throne apparently for grabs, and amnesia has robbed Corwin, crown prince of Amber his memory, even the fact that he is the rightful heir to the throne, 